Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Fort Worth, Texas, where we encounter Cody Low Roller as he is arrested for the ump time in his lifetime. I mean, this guy can't go anywhere without acting stupid or getting arrested or anything like that. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up, everybody? Um, I'm not sure what's going on right now. Uh, I was at the library doing some paperwork. Yeah, I understand that uh, you got an upcoming case that you're trying to beat. And your lawyer is not exactly cooperating with you and your uh, ideas, so uh, you're trying to do it more pro se than anything else. Well, good luck with that, dude. I mean, you should really listen to your lawyer because they know better than you when it comes to the law. But you'll never figure that part out for yourself. You're just too damn arrogant and ignorant to know that. I had a marshal come up behind me. I pulled over. He went by me, circled back around the block, just to get behind me again. Now I'm being pulled over. A little longer than a few minutes later. The officer already walked up and got my ID and all that. Well, well, we could tell he definitely lives out of his car. I mean, we all know that he's pretty much homeless, that he... Uh, pretty much listed his residence as the local homeless shelter and just take a look at this mess as a result of that. I mean, the guy is a total slob. I mean, look at this mess in the passenger seat floorboard alone. I mean, how many days did it take you to uh, get that much piled in? I, can't, I would hate to see what the back seat of your car looks like. But still not all that bad compared to what you see on channels such as uh, uh, Just Rolled In, where I mean, what, uh, what mechanics actually have to deal with on a daily basis. I mean, some of that uh, stuff is just, I wouldn't even want to get in the vehicle at all. Many, many minutes later. They just pulled another unit up. They just pulled two units up, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They pulled two up for me. They got two units right behind me. Here comes a third unit. I know, three units. Yeah. I don't know. Because I'm white. <laughs> What's up, Ninja? Yeah, they got three units behind me right now. Are they outside of the car? Oh, there goes one of them right there. What's going on, man? What's up, man? What's going on? I'm sitting here filming. Huh? I'm sitting here filming. Okay. Why'd he stop you? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't really want to answer questions. Oh, I don't answer questions. I mean, I bet you'd be real fun inside the military. I mean, what happens if your drill instructor asks you a question and you say, I don't answer questions? Well, next thing you know, there's going to be a hungry pack of shark attacking drill instructors headed your way. Like I said, I don't want to answer questions. I don't answer questions. Maybe.
Yeah, it's locked. I had to roll the window. I don't know if this guy would try to reach in or what. They got three units. They got two behind me and one circling. Hey, are you filming too, ma'am? Hey, are you filming too? Hey, uh, my name's Cody High Roller on YouTube. If, if they start violating my rights or they start roughing me up, send it to my email. Yeah. Thank you. I told him I don't answer questions. Yeah. It's like, who's the victim? <laughs> no victim involved in this. Here comes that soft tart mentality right there. No victim, no crime, therefore you should let me go. I mean, this is a simple traffic stop, so you don't have a victim, so therefore you don't have a crime, so therefore you should let me go. No, that's not exactly how it works, considering that you don't need to have a victim for any kind of crime. It's ridiculous. Dude, I had no choice but to roll my window. I don't know if he's gonna try to grab in it or what this guy's going on, man. I mean, this is crazy. I know I'm not trying to get into a back and forth with the guy. I'm just trying to tell him I don't answer questions. Whatever I'm being accused of, I don't know. This window keeps freaking rolling down. I know they did have three cop cars out here and the lady over here is filming it. So you got somebody else over there filming this whole thing. Well, that's a good thing right there. I bet you know what? Why aren't the cops, why aren't these tyrant cops all over her for having a camera? I mean, that is your whole argument of with a lot of frauditors is that cops automatically see that camera and they want to take it out. They want to make sure that that footage doesn't get out. So they want them to take that person out of the equation. But why aren't the cops going after her? Why are they so focused on you? Oh, wait, could it be because that you have a lengthy criminal record and that you do presumably have warrants out for your arrest and that that woman that's filming this whole thing probably doesn't have arrest records herself and has not been antagonizing the officers. So could that be it? I mean, that's your whole spiel right there. So the very fact that that woman is being allowed to film kind of disproves a lot of the talking points of these frauditors that it's just the camera that's the issue. Yes, I'm on private property right now. Yeah, so I see traffic stops all the time that are conducted on private property, private businesses and everything like that. So what's your point? She said when they had a third unit, they were looking around uh, when he first came up. I don't know if y'all were here, but... He was saying I was sitting there reaching for something. I got it on video. I wasn't reaching for anything. I was at the library and I pulled out. And as soon as I pulled out, they pulled out. So I pulled into like the church beside of it. And uh, this guy circles all the way around the block. I pull out again, try to leave. Then they pull up behind me, uh, light me up. I got the first part on video. And uh, then I went live. Now they've had three units. Uh, they brought in three units on me. Didn't do anything wrong. Uh, Cody, there's just so much wrong with that statement. I mean, you go to jail so often, it's hard to believe that you don't do anything wrong. But of course, that's so often the line of criminal scumbags like yourself that say, oh, I haven't done anything wrong when... Clearly, there's been plenty that you have done wrong that has led up to this point of you getting arrested. I mean, they just don't do it randomly out of the blue to some random jackass like yourself. They're only supposed to keep you pulled over for 20 minutes.
Yeah, this is Fort Worth Central Division that has me pulled over. Hey, if somebody will look up Fort Worth Central Division and put that in the uh, comments, that's the that's the department that has me over. It's actually it's actually one Central Division and it's the Marshals as well. Fort Worth Marshals and Fort Worth uh, Central Division has uh, got me pulled over. I was actually working on a motion. I'll show y'all. It's a motion I got for Arlington for the obstructing the street. Okay, so you're going, like I said, pro se, and you're going to file a motion. Okay, I uh, hope it works out for you because, you know, you got to have the experience and know how to uh, file one of those things. Otherwise, it's going to be rejected, and they will reject it based on numerous factors, even grammar, which I know that you don't have very good grammar to begin with. I'm gonna sit here like this with my hand open, like this, and they come up so they don't say I try to reach for something. What's that? Yeah, Mr. Day is <laughs> going. Alrighty, the lady just told me he's walking up now. Step out of the vehicle. Yeah, put your phone down. Step out of the vehicle, please. Okay. Lock it up yet, stand right over here. Okay. You're under arrest. I'm under arrest for what? Yes, I'm standing right here. Alright, guys, I'm under arrest. I'm not going to leave the thing recording while you're being arrested. Okay? It's, I don't have a single problem with you recording everything. I'm going to get arrested. Is it warrants or something else? From where? I'll leave my car here. No, I don't want to get anything. I feel like I've been walking for you. Why don't I turn his phone off? The reason for the stop. Well, well, then the reason for the stop was because his tag was a couple years out of date. I mean, dude, you need to keep that up. I know you're partially a sovereign citizen, but, you know, you think you know the law. I know you think you know the law, but you really do need to keep it up. But as far as the uh, reason for the arrest, uh... I heard there was a warrant out there for his arrest, but not entirely sure. There hasn't been anything that's popped up yet. So if there is, I'll let you know. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.